Nothing says Friday like a remote control bar bot. This is Daily Planet. Hi, and welcome to the show today. I'm Zaya Tong. And I'm Jay Ingram. We have a real firecracker of a show today. We're going to introduce you to a robotic bartender, his big hit at parties. On the menu right now, a robot that we found in Nashville, Tennessee, with a real knack for mixing you a stiff drink right in the comfort of your own living room. When Jamie Price gets home after a long day at work, there are two things on his mind. What's on TV? Today on Daily Planet, a life-saving invention. And what's on tap? And in this house, neither is ever more than a click away. This is Bar 2D2. Bar 2D2 is a mobile robotic bartending platform. It has a beer elevator, it has an ice bin, it can mix drinks, and it's mobile so you can drive it anywhere you want to go with it. The idea for Bar 2D2 came from a friend at a party. He showed up with a radio controlled beer cooler and we just joked about taking it to the next level and about eight months later, that's what you end up with. Jamie started building robots as a hobby in 2001. A four-season veteran of the TV show BattleBots, his robots can get pretty sophisticated. But his materials, not so much. When you're building robots, you absolutely have to be resourceful because you can't go into Home Depot or another store and just find a beer elevator. So you kind of have to think outside the box a little bit. That beer elevator, for instance, is made from the guts of a cordless caulking gun. Bartu's motorized base was stripped off an electric wheelchair. The remote control came from a toy helicopter. And the robot's crowning jewel? Almost the entire robot was built around that dome. It's a plastic clear dome off a bird feeder. Bar 2 was one of those ideas that sounded great on paper, and about four months into the build, it was just overwhelming. But I'd come too far to stop, so I had to keep going. And keep going, he did, adding more chrome, lights, and electronics than a pimped-out lowrider. But there was still one thing that wasn't quite right. The liquor carousel on Bar 2D2 was originally manual, uh, a store-bought item where you stuck a glass into there and it dispensed shots and things, but we had always had the idea in the back of our mind to make it fully automated and computerized. Enter Lazy Drinker. This custom designed software has a database of over 5,000 different drink orders, and it talks to Bartu with Bluetooth. Bartu D2 holds six ingredient bottles. Once you slide those in, the system is pressurized by two air tanks. And those air tanks feed these six valves here. The software tells the valves to open and close for whatever duration is desired for that drink. With the ingredients loaded up, the computer takes over. You tell it what ingredients you have, and it'll generate a list of what you can make out of those ingredients. We got about 32 drinks we can make right here. Why don't we make a screwdriver? There's your ingredients and what's in the drink. Click on Do It, and there's your drink being made. So how about a recap? Jamie now has a fully automatic bartending robot. It drives, it dispenses beer, and it mixes over 5,000 drinks. Really, there's only one thing left to do. Hey, what's up, Jamie? What's up, Mark? Hey, there you go. Come on in. Hey, hey Jamie. It's pretty cool being the only guy with a bar 2D2 at my disposal. You roll into a party and you know nobody else is going to have anything like that. What's going on, man? Nobody knows exactly what it's going to do, but they all know it's going to be fun. Can just order anything at any time and stuff that you don't even know how to make yourself. Give me a cram it. Okay. Yeah. With scientific precision, every drink gives you one satisfied customer. He did good. And with the early success of Bar 2D2, Jamie's already looking ahead to his next big creation. We had joked about making a companion for Bar 2D2, which is uh, MP3PO, which is a robot that's just solid gold and runs around and plays music at parties. So we'll see how that goes. But having the world's only bartending robot by his side, he's already having to turn the odd customer away. <laughs> Not tonight. Uh -uh. <laughs> 